What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to you, and welcome back to some more Pixelmon here on the fantastic Pixelgore server. How are you doing everyone? Are you good? Yes, I'm in a hole. So uh, yeah, welcome back everyone. Uh, yeah, we'll just do a little recap here before we get into the main uh, goal for today's video. I've actually got a pretty cool idea. Well... To be honest, it's more of a practical idea, because this needs to be done. It's probably needed to be done for quite a while. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that in just a second. We're actually on top of Block HQ here, in case you're wondering what this is. It's the top of our volcano. And uh, yeah, just to recap, we actually did a bit of a pranky prank last episode. So uh, yeah, people really seem to like it. We did it on Justin, aka Mr. I Think I Like Noodles. Mr. Think Noodles. The thinker of the noodles. Justin. So uh, yeah, we played a prank on Justin where we filled his empty bowl up. It's been empty for a long time. So I thought, you know what, we'll put some noodles in it because he likes his noodles. And we'll also do a little twist and we put a load of seaweed on it. Now, what I was thinking was he wouldn't really like the seaweed. So we'd have to spend some time trying to take the seaweed off, that kind of thing. Ah, it backfired a bit. Mm -hmm. It backfired on Team Block it because he actually really liked the seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's decided to keep it, which I think is very sweet. Um, but, yeah, that was the, uh, the the plan. Well, not the plan. That's what we did last episode. We filled up his noodle bowl with the chopsticks and everything. So, um, yeah, it went down really, really well on his channel and my channel. So, uh, yeah, really, really good fun. Um, and, yeah, it was a cool little episode. So, uh, what do we have planned for today? Well... My initial plan was actually uh, to try and evolve this Larvesta um, into the, the the full form of it. I can't remember what the name is, Vola Corona or something like that. But then I found out that it actually evolves at level 59, which is quite a big old grind for one particular episode. So what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do with that is I'm probably going to have to do most of that grind kind of off screen. I could actually, and this is probably what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the XP share on it for now. And then when it gets to about level 40, something like that, then we can actually actually start using it in battle against some slightly bigger things and um, yeah see where it goes from there really so it's not particularly something we're gonna be able to do today's episode I don't think because it is a big old grind but it is it is doable we're definitely gonna do that it should be pretty cool um, unless what level is this trainer level 23 oh yeah love us to take this on okay let's let's actually give it the lucky egg um, oh god my XP ship get back yes all right let's do this yeah <laughs> Volpix. Um, so yeah, in other plans, what I actually, why did I use fire and a fire Pokemon? Ah, oh, why did I use takedown when it had no health? Oh man, come on, we must do better. All right, so this thing doesn't really have great moves just yet, but from what I've seen of the actual moves list, it should actually learn some pretty cool things. Um, so that's pretty sweet. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, but yeah, that didn't even level up. Dow. I think it's probably best with the XP share on. And give me that egg back, man. Oh, Tata. Be gone with you! Heavy slam to the face. Alright, let's stick the lucky egg back on Salamence. Right, so the second part of the, pl well, the actual kind of goal for today's episode basically is going to be, <laughs> well, we had some more visitors in last episode. Um, Justin came in because uh, he said I said that you could use one of my uh, fortune picks to kind of get some, some diamonds because he was actually cloning himself a Mewtwo and he needed some diamond blocks. So I thought, you know what, yeah, we'll be a good neighbor and we'll let him use it. And through no fault of his own, once again, this thing is broken. <laughs> oh, why did you keep breaking? Oh, it's never ending, man. So I'm unfortunately probably thinking of redesigning this entire system here. Um, and I'm thinking about going with a piston elevator. So what is this going to mean for this particular area? Well, I'm going to have to completely change it. So I've got the space hollowed out, I think. I'm actually going to need a 4x6 space uh, in order to do the one that I'm doing. Um, so four this way and then six across, which is kind of what I think I've got the space for. And I'm going to have to have a lot of um, redstone knowledge, which is something I don't particularly have. So I'm probably going to have to follow a tutorial on it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and build the most compact piston elevator that I can possibly do. One that goes both up and down and doesn't involve precariously balanced boats and all that stuff. Because it is kind of, it keeps breaking all the time. And basically, when I, sometimes I log off and I'm at the top 
and then you know if someone comes in and they try and get the elevator and the boat is at the top they're kind of screwed so they'll start playing around with the boats in here or something like that and then it will break and it's not really their fault um and uh, yeah that's kind of my bad for designing a horrible thing here um but yeah it's good for one person i think it's good for a single player but for multiplayer i don't really think it works too well so uh yeah piston elevator is the one thing that i really really want to accomplish today um so let's actually go and see how much redstone we've got it's something i don't particularly know i'm thinking we're probably going to need quite a lot because we're going to need a lot of repeaters and redstone torches and oh for god's sake <laughs> Ah, see, this is the slight issue with this thing. Um, yeah, it's a little bit dodgy, so we can fix that. Um, but yeah, ooh, guess what? 50 plus episodes on the Pixel Core Pixel Mod series. Yay! Oh, I'm excited by that. That's really, really cool. So, um, yeah, 50 episodes plus, which is awesome. I was actually thinking about maybe doing a... What the hell is going on here? I was thinking about doing like a uh, a funny sort of best bits compilation montage for the 50 plus episodes we've had. So, uh, yeah, I could maybe do that relatively soon. I think that might be quite fun. Um, so, yeah, let me know if that would be cool. Uh, I've got some, had some really, really awesome moments on this server. So, I think maybe like a little short video sort of just having a highlight reel would be kind of nice. Um, but yeah, we've actually got a ton of redstone here, so that's kind of good. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to build a lot of repeaters, uh, a lot of redstone blah blah blahs, uh, a lot of pistons, an awful lot of pistons. Um, and yeah, we're going to have to take it from there, so this may take some time, unfortunately. And it is going to be a big redesign, so... <sighs> I mean, there's not much I can really do to make it work properly, to be honest with you. It's just it's just one of those things that is just being a bit derpy. And, you know, the idea is great, but it's just really not working too well. So, uh, yeah, I think it's about time we did a little upgrade. So, let's actually... I haven't flushed myself down here for a while. In case you haven't seen this yet, just I'll, I'll just show you. <laughs> no one's found this yet as well. <laughs> it's my secret Mew evil team block it lab. Oh, I actually put some like just random little sciencey looking things in here. So I put a couple of um, uh, potion stands and this, these are just dispensers. But I thought maybe I could put some potions inside there or something like that. And uh, yeah, this is my little secret lab. My evil team block it cloning project lab. And this is my fossil machine in here. We need to get some fossils for the walls. We need to get all the other fossils. We need to get the mighty helix. We haven't got it yet. Um, but yeah, okay. So I'm going to get cracking with this piston elevator. Uh, this may take some time, but what I'll try and do is I'll try and basically do what I normally do, which is sort of jump cut to it being kind of finished. And where what, have I clicked? What? what? How do Did I close this off by accident? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to go and try and jump cut to it being sort of nearly finished and then I'm going to try and you know come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's fully done and working and everything. So wish me luck. This is a big project for me. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so welcome back. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. A very long time. A very, very, very long time. So... Couple of problems, couple of problems, right. I've actually, I have something that roughly resembles a piston elevator. Now, I went with this design because basically the YouTube video had lots and lots of thumbs up on it. It looked really nice, it's a compact design, and on paper, it works great. We had a few issues though, and I haven't resolved most of them. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually is a its a pretty damn cool elevator. So, one slight issue I had, when you're playing around with pistons, be very careful with... <laughs> oh, God. So, I managed to break my doors, first things first. For some reason, I have no idea how or why or don't know, but I managed to push out about three blocks of my actual door frame. So now it still works, but I've messed it up. Um, so I'm gonna have to fix my doors, basically, which kind of sucks. I really have no idea. There's a sticky piston here, which is supposed to be doing something. Effectively, all of the blocks have moved like three across, which shouldn't be too big a deal. I could just replace them and they should be fine. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit annoying. I have no real clue why that happened, but it has. But anyway, this is the elevator. So uh, as you can see, some major redesigns have gone on here. Um, this is sort of how you get down. We have a, a button here, which I'm not too sure. I think that's a test button. Uh, but yeah, this is essentially what I have spent ages 
ages doing. Um, so on paper, it's actually, it looks complicated, but it's, it's actually really, really straightforward. It's essentially the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, basically, what we have here is alternating pistons uh, with a sticky piston behind each one, and then you've kind of got it rigged up. So this bit in the front, these, I've done it color coordinated. The guy in the video had it color coordinated. I really liked it. So I thought, you know what, we'll just do it color coordinated. Um, but essentially this front bit here, the white and the yellow, are the maneuvers to get the pistons to retract. And then the red bit is in order to get it to go down again. Now the problem is, I haven't worked out how to make it go down. And that, there, therein lies the issue. So that is a bit of a problem. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's see it in action. It does actually work really well. Of course, I've had to rip down a lot of block at HQ, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, we basically just go in, we stand on this block here, and we right click, and then blah, 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 boop. And then we jump off. So it's super fast to get up and down. It's actually a really, really good way. Actually, you can actually see the circuitry better from the top here. Um, yeah, basically this is the, oh for God's sake, this is the way it's rigged, so you've got a couple of repeaters here, this links it up to the back. Now the thing is, uh, the tutorial was really, really handy, apart from the fact that he didn't show anyone how to wire it up, which I'm guessing he's just forgotten to do it, but it was over a year ago since this was posted, so I don't think there's a follow-up. So I haven't quite worked out how to wire it to make it go back down, which is the slight issue. I'm guessing it's probably something to do with he might have to wire it. But then again, he had his wired at the back here, so I'm kind of wondering, like if there's a way to to make it go back down again. But uh, yeah, we had a few issues, and one of them is we can actually see the secret room from the top here, so I'm gonna have to do a slight redesign on that. Oh, I'm doing this because the people keep breaking it. Like, it's not their fault, which is why I think we should have a more useful system, but when it gets more complicated, then there's more problems. So um, yeah, on paper it does really work, but unfortunately the only way to get down at the moment is literally to jump down, which is not great. And of course, I've completely wrecked this underground bit here. I just, oh God. I don't even know what, see this bit here, this bit sort of retracted out, and I'm guessing I had, did I have one too many pistons on it or something? Hmm. That might provide to be a slight issue. See, what I'm thinking I might have to do now is maybe move the doorway forward, uh, which is another job in itself. So that, that kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. It kind of sucks. I'm, I'm trying to work out how this has actually done it. Have I got my axe on me? No, I don't. Happy days. Um, so I'm trying to work out why. See, that's, ah, that's pushed out that, which pushes out that. So for some reason, I need to get rid of one of these blocks. Otherwise, yeah, it's completely like, all of the wiring is fine though, it's just a case that it's pushing out blocks where it shouldn't do so. <sighs> nothing's ever nothing's ever easy, right? Nothing is ever easy. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. But you know, what can you do? Things happen. Um, and I've just broken my button for that. Oh, happy days. Everything is going wrong at Block It HQ. Ah, oh, don't even know what to say. So... <laughs> Uh, on paper though, it's a cool elevator, like it works really, really well, um, you know, it's super, super fast. Da, 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 da. Oh, the only problem is you've got to jump off it quite quickly, otherwise you will just fall straight to your death. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and tidy this up a bit, I'm going to try and fix my doors, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves something that looks a little bit nicer. I don't know if I'm going to fully be able to finish everything today, but I kind of just wanted to get it so that it's not messing up with my doors, and you know, it's a separate system altogether. Together, so it's going to involve literally taking up all of this and seeing what's going on. Um, but yeah, I will. Uh, I'll meet you guys back when I've hopefully fixed it. It's pushed it. Yeah, it's pushed it two blocks across, which is very bizarre. I really am not too sure why that's happened. But yeah, okay. I'll have a little look. I'll see if I can fix it, and I'll meet you guys back in a second. All right. So welcome back. Uh, yeah, I've made a little bit of progress. I'm still struggling with trying to make it actually go back down, uh, which is kind of weird, seeing as I have actually put all of the circuitry available. I was just in my treehouse, in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, I've made all the circuitry available to make it reset itself, and it should, in essence, go back down. But I just kind of kind of work out which input is right. It may sound really stupid, and it may be completely obvious, I'm not sure, with more redstone, happy days. Um, but yeah, it may be kind of obvious, let me just heal my Pokemon, but I'm kind of struggling with this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have to have a look at this in a while. I don't wanna spend too long just looking at something, and uh, I think what I'll actually do is, after I finish recording this episode, uh, I'll have a proper play around with it and try and fix it for next time. Um, but yeah, let's run back and just let me show you what I've actually done so far. The night is coming. So, uh, yeah, let's go and check this out quickly. 
Dun, 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 dun. Pixel Mons. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've not seen any, on a completely separate note, I've not seen any bosses for a while. Mm. Oh no, we saw one last episode, didn't we? Mm. One day we'll find a shiny Gola, and it will be a glorious day, I promise you this. Um, so yeah, the good news is we've actually managed to fix, uh, we fixed this. I have no idea why that happened in the first place. I was really worried at one point that my redstone stuff was like, my pistons were too close to each other. Turns out it's completely stupid and it doesn't make any difference. I think what I must have done is I must have accidentally made a piston go uh, whilst I was setting it up and then it pushed a load of blocks in front. Uh, the good news is though, both of these now work completely perfectly. So it was a really simple fix. It was literally just replacing, oh yeah, I've got no floor here. <laughs> that may be the slight issue. Um, um, but yeah, it's a completely really, really easy fix in order to get that sorted. Um, do I have any more? Yeah, I don't have any more of this wood left, which is a little bit of an issue. So that's the one thing that I do need to go and fix. Uh, but yeah, it works completely fine, and this closes itself up, and everyone is happy. And then the elevator itself still works absolutely fine. Oh no, hang on, wait, wait a second. Wait a second, where's my button gone? Hmm, did I break this? I must have broken this. That is really strange. Why why would that do that? Oh! Wait. Did this set on fire? Are you kidding me? No way. I'm... Oh, no. Problem number two. Did the fire leak through the back and set my wood on fire? Ooh, that could be an issue. So we might actually have to replace the wood out of this floor and use something non-flammable. That's not a big deal. We can do that. That's not too much of an issue. I was wondering where my button went because it used to be used to be wooden. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so yeah, anyway, this works completely fine. Works really well, actually. <laughs> I'm quite proud of this. And I've got like a little maintenance hatch down the side here where I can kind of fiddle with it. But basically my situation is uh, I need to connect sort of... Uh, buttons on this side and it needs to connect somewhere in here and then it needs to actually reset the circuit so that it will trigger from the top down. So I do have all of the redstone placed in order to do that but for some reason I just can't find the input uh, which is a little bit weird like if I do this and I put um, oh god and I put two of these in uh, and I just oh I need some buttons as well I've got some buttons here so if I just do like that kind of doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's wrong, but you know, you kind of get the drift of it. But anyway, I've kind of just made a little bit of a change onto this. I've completely ran out of wood now, which is a bit of an issue. So um, I can't actually finish this, but I'm thinking what I'll probably do is um, I will try and get this finished for next episode. So uh, I'm guessing, yeah, I, I like to actually post two pixel mons. I'm sorry this video is a day late, by the way. I don't normally, I normally post on Tuesdays, but I actually missed a day, so oops, my bad. Um, but yeah, I'll try and get this finished and sorted. If you have any suggestions, um, then like, I don't know, let me know or something, because that would be useful. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's probably going to be about it for this episode. So just a fairly short one, really, but I kind of wanted to get cracking on this. It's been causing people hardships on the server, so I thought I'd try and, you know, be a, a good Samaritan and get it fixed. The only problem is, of course, you need to jump down in order to get down, so it is a slight issue there. Uh, but you know it works perfectly on the way up so it's pretty damn cool um, but yeah that is going to be about it for this Pixelmon episode so if you can remember to hit that like button please do that now hit that like for our lovely piston elevator and uh, yeah if you're not yet subscribed go for it because we do Minecraft on fun but until next time thank you once again for watching it's been such a pleasure as always thanks Run, see ya.